Wednesday, and I'm just like, yo, how are you doing all I mean, of this look, right now? His <laughs> Dude, he's just showing off a little bit right I now. Mean, yeah, but if he was a StarCraft player, we're talking APMs <laughs> off the chain. <laughs> that makes some sense. I mean, he his movement is not only is it unbelievably good. Um, oh, it looks like they're backing out. Yeah, I think this is the hand one real quick. Oh yeah, yeah. All right, but now going into the match, going to be very, very nice to see what's going to be happening. All right, what's happening? Okay, just discussing what, what matches are going to be happening so far, but we are going to be hopping into this match right now. All right, yeah, we got Zekmo in green, Kabu in white. So again, Zekmo super aggressive. Um, when he decides to go in, you may most likely not survive. <laughs> and Zekmo just showing off Whoa, the movement right now. That read. That oh read. Oh no! Zekmo just calling Kabu out! Yeah, that is a, the hardest possible read right there. Oh, going out again? Uh, controller? Or. Alright, I think this is for real, yeah, because I know Kabu does play red. So. Okay, so I'm not sure what that whole little exchange okay, was. Okay, alright, right so it must have been hand warmers. Again? <laughs> maybe they both need to hey, You know hand what? Warmers. Maybe Z I think Zekmo is just a respectable person. He's just like, you know what? If, you're, if your stuff wasn't working, that's fine. Let's just restart it. No worries. Alright, Kabu in red. Both players with arrows. This is not actually a great match. Oh, look at that. So, again, the amount of how fast he has to move here to make this. Hypers over to the corner and then gets that diagonal arrow. Yep, right away, Zekmo getting the first point. Zekmo relies a lot on his ability to get into spaces where you just don't think he could possibly get there in that time. Um, uses area denial to set up really aggressive approaches. So we'll probably right see now Kabu is just trying to find some type of opening, but Zekmo is making it very difficult with just this movement is immaculate. Yeah. Honestly, just trying to control center again. Oh, Kabu had him there uh, with the stagger, just couldn't get to him. And again, like I said, Zekmo controlling center and just having a quick early read and able to el what's called an elevator when you hyper straight up to get to that ledge in time to close down that angle. No, and I love the weight that Zekmo did have on that last point. Yeah. Just getting away from all the arrows, because it looked like Kabu was going for a read. Yeah, and Kabu had a lot of arrow advantage, right? And one of the problems with arrow advantage is it makes you really aggressive, which makes you predictable. <laughs> yep. Ooh, and just like that. That was a head boop. Yeah, it was a boop. beautiful boop. So basically just sidesteps and just comes right across. The saying with that is, you know, sometimes the old ways is the best way. Sometimes you just gotta boop somebody. Yep. No, just like that. Right out the gate. Zekmo going up 3 0. Oh, and just like 4 0. That. Yeah. <laughs> Again, he once he tinks this shield, he's only going in, right? Oh, of course. Like, once once that shield is gone, that's when you know you're in no man's land, especially with someone that has so much arrow advantage and just experience yeah. of getting these points. Oh, and that is a beautiful down arrow. And Zekmo is looking really good. Kabu is a really good player, mm -hmm. set up base player. No, super, super clean game by Zekmo right there. Yeah. So it's best of three. And just like that, Kabu on the Iron gets taken on the Iron Man. Zekmo pulling out an Iron Man. That is, you don't, you don't like to see a 5-0. <laughs> this is a great counter pick against um, Zekmo because Zekmo it does move so fast. This map spawns both bombs and brambles. Both of those are uh, arrows that create um, big areas of effect. Mm -hmm. And so Zekmo sometimes can carelessly get into a kill and uh, get killed by an arrow or get killed by a bomb. But yeah, right no, now, exactly. At the same time, it just limits the movement that Zekmo can really do in exactly. general. But you know, Zekmo trying to make the most of it, but that up arrow is going to catch him. So you and see Kabu finally getting himself on the board. Yeah. You saw there, Zekmo got that miracle off, but just got set up by that up arrow. Kabu's got to play more of this setup game if he's going to have any chance. And that's just not going to do it. No, Zekmo just catching him right there, basically in a trap, forcing him to grab. And as he was trying to leave, just gets nicked, yeah. And this is like the problem when you play Zekmo, is even if you have a really strong setup game, your setup game doesn't matter if he's like already in your face before you can think. Oh my goodness, Zekmo going in right now. Yeah, that was dirty. So he's anticipating this. He's stalling right there to anticipate the second arrow. Never gets it, so he might as well just fire off and get the kill. Exactly. And you know, Zekmo basically just carrying on where he left off, dropping back down. <laughs> business. Business as usual. It's a 
Great arrow by Zekmo. Good read. Ooh, good the head bump. Yeah. So using that semi invisibility just to make it difficult to understand exactly how far away he is. Both players in the goo here. That slows your movement down and makes your jump harder. Yep. Good arrow by Kabu to create some denial. Ooh, but a great touch right there yeah. by Zekmo. And again, getting the boot. Zekmo just disrespecting the amount of arrows you have. He's just decided he's going to come in. Not, not only get the boot, but just take away those arrows at the same time. Just really relying on his skill, knowing that he will go ahead and catch him. But the Bramble, like you were saying earlier, now playing really in effect. But oh, not that up for arrow. long, honestly. <laughs> yeah, just not enough, not enough setup from Kabu. Zekmo just kept coming and, you know, 